Hey guys, I'm Chad with Take One Film and Video here in Nashville, Tennessee. And today I'm really excited to be at Long Hollow Baptist Church. Uh, we've done a series of videos on this major project that we just did with them, upgrading them to HD from standard definition 16 by nine. Uh, but for this video, I wanna talk about the cameras and why we picked the cameras we did and um, how that ties into the whole long-term goals for the church. Uh, the cameras that they ended up choosing were the Panasonic UC4000s. Uh, the church is going to be running 1080p 60, uh, still in the HD world, 3G HD, but it's uh, still HD, but they wanted to have the path to, to move into HDR and then eventually 4K. Uh, the Panasonic did all of that, but the one thing that really was different about the Panasonic it was the only camera out of all the manufacturers that did not have licenses to be able to open up those features. Some of the other ones to be able to do those you can buy uh, either short-term temporary or long-term permanent licenses to open up things such as HDR or 4K or high speed. Uh, anything that you would want, those are typically licensable things which um, understandably can make the, the general camera uh, more affordable on the front end, but when you start adding those licenses in, it definitely adds to the cost. Panasonic's approach to that is that it, you get everything right out of the box. So. Um, there's no licenses. You buy the UC4000s and you get everything that the ca camera is capable of uh, from uh, the time you take them out of the box. The HDR was something that I was particularly excited about, but uh, until we move into that area, I, I utilized some of the features in the camera, especially the DRS, which is the dynamic range stretch. Uh, that was able to open up uh, the low ends uh, and mitigate the high ends. Uh, where you would typically have a knee uh, so that you can bring out details in the blacks that you normally would not be able to see uh, in a standard gamma curve. And so we get this really great reproduction, a very natural reproduction of the camera. You can do data trunking, but you can also do a gig la uh, LAN port uh, trunk back and forth on the camera. And you can actually run a PTZ camera off of that LAN port uh, just right out of the camera and do PTZ control and so forth. So anyway, it gives you a lot of that type of flexibility. Uh, the camera is a full-on broadcast camera. It's got servo, NDs, color corrections, and uh, the control is fantastic. Panasonic cameras, they're just, they're kind of built like a tank. They're very robust, and uh, you know, overall, Long Hollow has been very happy with, uh, with the choice of the camera. So uh, if you have any questions about the UC4000s, you guys want to learn a little bit more about it, just give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about uh, how we've used these cameras for this particular project too. So give us a shout at 1-877-81-TAKE-1. Well, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to us for more videos, and I hope to see you soon.